Mega plan. For rupees lakh crore proposal. Multi tracking seven busiest Indian railway corridors. In a groundbreaking move, the Indian Railways has unveiled a colossal 4.2 rupees lakh crore mega plan aimed at transforming the country's rail network. This ambitious proposal centers around the multi tracking of seven high density corridors, spanning from Delhi to Hara, Mumbai to Hara, Delhi to Mumbai. Delhi to Guwahati, Delhi to Chennai, Hara to Chennai and Mumbai to Chennai. The primary objectives of this massive undertaking are to introduce faster passenger trains and streamline the movement of freight. The plan, set to span the next decade from 2024 to 25 to 2033 to 34, encompasses the doubling and laying of third and fourth lines in segments of these bustling corridors, catering to the traffic demand. In addition, the proposal includes the construction of flyovers and underpasses. Hi friend. Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. We have observed that 97% of our viewers haven't subscribed to our channel. If you haven't as yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so, after watching this video, since it would encourage us to do more. Watch this interesting video until the end so that you will not miss out on all the details. The Indian Railway's grand vision comes at a time when the nation is on the cusp of introducing modern Vandy Bharat trains, which boast sleeper facilities and a remarkable maximum design speed of 220 km per hour. This move heralds a new era for rail travel in India, promising both convenience and efficiency. A key revelation is that the Indian Railways has identified a whopping 213 projects that urgently need attention on these seven corridors, which have long surpassed their saturation points. The initial phase is slated to complete around 200 of these critical projects. To expedite the decision-making process, the National Transporter has put forth a proposal for granting additional financial powers to the Railway Board and the Minister. This is a strategic move to ensure swift implementation of this colossal venture. The primary motivation behind this monumental government investment in the seven corridors is to enhance the railway's capacity to run more trains. These corridors, though only making up about 16% of the entire Indian Railways network in terms of length, bear the immense load of 41% of the traffic. The ensuing congestion has drastically limited the introduction of new trains or improvements in their speed. The average speed of freight trains, for instance, languishes at a mere 18 to 20 km per hour, a far cry from the 50 km per hour standard in the developed world. This slowdown has significant ramifications for the logistics sector, as the reduced speed of freight trains directly impacts the cost of logistics. Freight movement is the lifeblood of Indian Railway's finances, compensating for the losses incurred due to passenger transportation. It is interesting to note that, presently, the railway's share in the total freight movement is just 27%, with road transport claiming the lion's share at nearly 70%. The proposal argues that by increasing the railway's share to 35% in cargo transportation, it could lead to a remarkable 5.2% reduction in the overall logistics cost. This bold initiative aligns with India's larger goal to reduce the logistics cost from its current 14% to a single-digit figure, further improving the nation's economic efficiency. The Indian Railways is also keen on doubling the freight movement to a staggering 3,000 million tons by 2030, which is a clear indication of the transformative impact this plan could have on the country's transport landscape. The proposed plan comes at a crucial juncture when the Indian economy is poised for significant growth, and a robust transportation system is imperative for sustaining and enhancing this momentum. The plan to enhance rail infrastructure, increase train speed, and streamline freight movement is not only a visionary step but a necessity in meeting the burgeoning demands of India's growing population and economy. The decision to add more financial powers to the railway board and the minister is a prudent move to ensure that projects are executed efficiently, without unnecessary bureaucratic delays. This empowers the railways to tackle pressing issues head-on, 
without procedural bottlenecks, and make decisions with an eye on the broader vision of improving India's transportation and logistics landscape. A standout feature of this proposal is the emphasis on modernization. The impending introduction of Vandi Bharat trains with sleeper facilities and impressive top speeds is a testament to India's readiness to embrace state-of-the-art rail technology. These trains promise a new level of comfort and speed for passengers, making rail travel an even more attractive option. By focusing on the seven high-density corridors that are responsible for a significant chunk of rail traffic in India, the Indian Railways is addressing a critical bottleneck in the country's transportation infrastructure. These corridors, already operating beyond their capacity, have limited room for growth. This bottleneck has direct implications for economic efficiency, as it hinders the movement of goods and people, a crucial element of any thriving economy. The reduction of average freight train speed is a glaring problem, with Indian railways operating at nearly one-third of the standard in developed countries. This results in extended lead times, higher costs, and reduced competitiveness in the global market. By boosting the rail network's capacity and increasing the speed of freight trains, the Indian Railways aims to make its logistics sector more competitive and efficient, ultimately benefiting the broader Indian economy. In the larger context of India's economic goals, this proposal is an indispensable step in the right direction. The reduction of logistics costs, doubling of freight movement, an increased rail share in cargo transportation are all vital components of India's strategy to enhance its economic competitiveness. In the current global economic landscape, a well-connected and efficient transportation system is key to attracting investment, fostering economic growth, and boosting exports. As India moves towards a future where logistics costs are in the single digits and the railways play a more significant role in cargo transportation, it will be better positioned to meet the demands of a growing economy. This comprehensive plan is not just about improving the rail network, it's about transforming India's transport infrastructure to be more responsive to the needs of businesses and citizens alike. In conclusion, the Indian Railways proposal for a 4.2 rupees lakh crore mega plan to multi-track seven high-density corridors represents a significant step towards enhancing the nation's rail network. With a focus on modernization, increased capacity, and improved logistics efficiency, this plan is well positioned to bolster India's economic growth and meet the demands of a rapidly expanding population. It's a visionary move that promises to revolutionize rail travel and contribute to the nation's goal of reducing logistics costs and increasing freight movement. The introduction of Vandi Bharat trains with enhanced passenger amenities is a further testament to the railway's commitment to providing a world-class travel experience. In the years to come, we can look forward to a more efficient, faster, and cost-effective rail network that will play a crucial role in India's journey towards becoming a global economic powerhouse. Stay tuned for further developments and get ready to witness a brighter, faster and well-connected India. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.